everybody. Welcome to another edition of Under the Hood. Uh, today, I actually have a special guest. Brian, come over here. <laughs> Brian's going to be hanging out. He's our mark. How's it going, man? He's our marketing manager. A lot of you guys already know him. But, you know, I'm usually flying solo. I asked a buddy to come along with me this time. So uh, today, we're talking about the Ontour Chill, yeah. our brand new, well, fairly new, low-lying uh, fogger. And, uh, you know, I know it's a really popular effect. And, I mean, you're the marketing guy. I mean, what are guys using these mostly for? What do you see on social media? Yeah, you know, dancing on a cloud is a huge uh, trend right now. Yeah, also like a first dance thing yeah, at a wedding. Yeah, first dance at yeah. a wedding. Uh, we're seeing, obviously, for Halloween events. Yeah. Uh, this Halloween's coming up. Let's hope yeah. there's something out there, right? <laughs> you know, but that even even so, it's, we can still decorate and have a good exactly. time and try to be a little spooky at a safe distance. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, also, uh, community theaters, you know, small oh, yeah, theaters, yeah. also school theaters and things like that. What about music videos? <laughs> yeah, you know, like a music video in a room like this. Yeah. Uh, make a rock band really rock. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and if you guys are doing any of it like go ahead and post like is it an add-on is it a standard uh, thing you guys offer I mean it's it's such an interesting effect I'm always like curious to see what people are doing you know if they're charging extra or if it's you know like I said a, a standard uh, deal but um, as you know though this isn't our first low-lying machine right you know I think the first one we ever did was the Mr. Cool, Mr. cool. now we have Mr. Cool 2 right which we've had over 10 years in our line yeah yeah it's been a very successful product and I I think you know we just we got requests for a little more output the Mr. Cool still exists still very popular um, you know I, I believe that's the 400 watt mm -hmm. heater and uh, the Ontour chill well this is just what's left of the Ontour <laughs> chill you'll see in the video uh, of course I avoid the warranties as usual but um, yeah so we had Mr. Cool and then uh, Ontour Ice. Ice is our top end yep which uh, you know is for much larger venues right right so uh, we wanted to kind of have some sort of a mid-range product and right so what we did is we improved on the uh, Mr. Cool 2 yeah so it's got a plastic case right yeah it and insulates it because sometimes if you fill the Mr. Cool up uh, with with ice or I put cold beers in there just kidding <laughs> um, it, you know the outside gets really cold and then you can get a little condensation or whatever so we use this fire retardant insulated plastic which right. is so we 800 watt heater yep uh, and it's pretty much what's the warm-up time like three minutes yeah it's really really fast so yeah. and I mean and that's kind of the give and take because the Ontour ice is technically like a theatrical dry ice right. machine there's actually not a heater in it it's a bucket of dry ice that well there is a heater for the water that drops it down into the warm water but it's not a conventional fog machine so right. and you know um, the Ontour ice will give you a ton of low-lying fog but you have a, a quite a bit of a warm-up time. time yeah, yeah you and know. the dry ice yeah. with this you can use dry ice and we're gonna yeah we're gonna check today. it out a little bit later yeah but it, uh, w it works great with ice cubes and yeah. that's you know ice cubes are very convenient where right. dry ice is a little more expensive and harder to find yeah but you and you can. have to keep it in a cooler until you're ready uh, so those are the same yeah, the drawbacks. Yeah, you can just swing by the convenience store on the way to your gig. And right, buy or get a, it from the venue, right? Right, yeah, a lot of times they have ice makers at hotels yeah. and thing, things along along those lines. But uh, so anyway, yeah. Well, one other big feature. What's that? The continuous output. Well, yeah. Right? I mean, that's, that's, the, that's pretty much the sweet one we've been saving is the continuous output. Right. You know, uh, and it can go for up to an hour. Yeah. I mean, and it's really until you run out of fog and... You know, you'll see in the video, but it's a one liter tank, you right. know, talk about efficient. I mean, you fill this up and it goes for an hour continuous. Yeah. I, don't, I don't really know of any other machines out there, uh, especially in this price realm that can do that. But right. um, And use cool fog. Right, yes, use it's cool denser, fog. It's a denser fog uh, liquid. Fun fact, both Mr. Cool and Cool Fog were named after Brian Dowdle. Oh, gosh. Everybody in the office <laughs> refers to him as Mr. Cool. Nice. So, um, Anyhow, let's go ahead and we can show the video and uh, watch me kind of destroy a machine, I guess. <laughs> Are we rolling? Thanks, Chuck. And may I say that beard is looking mighty hardy today. So here is the Ontour Chill. We're going to open it up. 
Do, do. I always like to use a Phillips screwdriver when opening boxes. Uh, no particular reason, they're just usually more handy. Ah. All right, wow, this thing is uh, packed in there quite nicely, you can see. We care about the product arriving in one piece and operating, so uh, let me uh, set that over there. Foam. Uh, all right. Take it out of here. All right, there we go. We have a couple of uh, accessories in here. We have our timer remote. We have the drainage tube. We have the reservoir for the melted water from the ice. And of course, a locking power cord. Let me put this in here. Don't forget to recycle. So, here we are. Man, this is a really well put together unit. Not too heavy. All right, well, let's get started, shall we? So fog machines have been around quite a while and there's just a few main components we're gonna take a look at. Now, there's a lot of fog machines out there that are basically just fancy coffee makers. And when you have cheap components, you got fluid running through them, they don't tend to last long. So we're really proud of the components we use as usual in these machines. So you're, we're gonna look at the reservoir, the pump, the heater core, and then we'll look at the ice tray as well. But let me uh, go ahead and start voiding the warranty. So I'm gonna try to take the tank off here. It's a zip tie, there we go. So yep, this is the fog tank. It's amazing that this machine is so efficient. You can run this machine an hour continuously from a full tank this size. Set that over there. Okay, well, now I can see the brain card or the main PC board or whatever you like to call it. Um, it's in there. This is cool, it's like a shield. Remember kids, don't try this at home. I'm a professional void, a warranty voider, part of the void club. gonna be a long, oh yeah, I see now. All right, I think I freed it up. Oh my goodness, yes. That's a long screw. That make me nervous. 
All right, well, that was kind of an adventure taking apart uh, this uh, on tour chill. Um, you know, for some reason, I always try to do things the hard way first when this thing was designed to be serviced pretty easily. I could have just unscrewed the bottom screws and pulled the whole thing out, but I decided to take it all apart kind of in a funny roundabout way. But I love modular design and I'm really excited to see how easy it is to get the unit in and out of the, the main plastic housing that holds the ice and also insulates the heater and everything. And it's a fire retardant plastic, so safety first. So let's take a look here. So just for reference, when it's all together, the tank sort of sits like this um, above the brain card. And here are two little LEDs. There's a red and a green that kind of give you the status. It illuminates the tank. And if it's red, it's heating up. If it's flashing red, you're pretty much almost out of juice. And if it's green, good to go. Um, so those guys are there. Again, they illuminate the tank. So your fog juice is gonna come out of the tank and ugh, I'm getting a little bit on me, which means our QC department is doing an excellent job as always. This machine has been tested and it is ready to, well, it was ready to ship. Uh, yeah, I don't think this one will be uh, in your local retailer, but uh, we'll see if I can put it back together. <laughs> so anyway, here is the tube from the tank into this really nice pump. This pump is designed to go for hours and hours of use through the whole gig. You know, it's a, you know we, we, we spend a little extra and we buy very reliable pumps. Uh, goes through this small tube here, around the back side of the heater, and then into the heater core. Now this is an 800 watt heater core. On top you have the power leads here, and then on the side you have, uh, these are thermo sensors that go back to the brain card again and tell it the status if it's, you know, ready to go, if it still needs to warm up or whatever, but again, this is a very high quality heater that will give you constant fog output for up to an hour. I mean, really until you go through your whole tank of juice or you run out of ice. And in which case, if you run out of ice, it just turns into a regular fogger from a low lying fogger. So once the juice goes through there, gets heated up, it is then shot out of here. And uh, let me get a screwdriver. So behind this is a squirrel fan and it will blow the juice this way, right in uh, through the bottom of the housing here. It'll come through here, through the ice, and then out of the front. And when it goes through the ice, obviously it cools it down, which makes it stick close to the floor and of course, it's gonna be best if you use our cool fog. It's designed for this. Um, it's, you know, quick dissipating. So once the fog starts rising, it should dissipate and gives you that really, really great low lying fog effect. So that's what's going on inside the on tour chill. So let's go back to the studio and that handsome devil is going to give you a demo on how to set it up, how to use it. And we're gonna take questions and uh, thanks for checking this out. I'll see you in a minute. Cool. Thanks, Chuck. I mean, that guy is so modest. Isn't that he? was awesome. That's one of the better ones you've done in a while. <laughs> yeah. I've been doing this for a long time. Yeah. So. I mean, that, this, we filmed this about a week ago, and I haven't changed my outfit. It's okay. Since, you know, it's you good know, luck. It's a little, you know, well, but, you know, and thanks for all the, the comments. Uh, Mr. Should Paul we, Graves and company had us laughing over here. <laughs> let's, let's call some people out here. Yeah. Uh, William Johnston. How's it going? Jose Heredia, voided. Oh. Uh, who else we got here? Rob Dratchler. Oh, yeah. What's up, uh, Rob? What's up, Moy? Moy from Santa Barbara. Yeah. So I, I've chatted with Paul Graves before. He's a FedEx truck driver. So I, I hope you're not driving and watching this, Paul. Yeah, not and, good. you know, because, yeah, that wouldn't be safe. But uh, yeah. Karen from our Mexico oh, office is on. Buenos dias, Karen. And Mike Mirless. Oh yeah, What's good up, old Mike? Mike. What's up, man? So yeah, that that was a fun one. And I mean, when I watch these, I mean, I just realize how much older I look all the time. <laughs> We've been doing them for so long. So 
So I got a couple of questions. All right. Regarding that, well, actually not regarding this. Uh huh. Totally off topic. Yeah. Beatles or the Stones? Oh come on! Anyone that knows me, the Beatles. I Even know. the Stones pick the Beatles. Uh, Lennon or McCartney? Oh, ooh. I don't know, man. I don't know. Like I, it, it, it changes for me all the time. Really? Yeah. I mean. I thought I knew the answer. I like Lennon's solo stuff better, but I love Paul's love songs. I love John's angry songs. I don't know. Nice. I'll just pick Tom York. How okay. about that? Okay. <laughs> Last question. Do you like to listen to an album straight through or songs like in a mix or just have it on rotate? It depends. Like if I'm listening to like, you know, rock bands again, like the Beatles, uh, Radiohead, Pink Floyd, I kind of want the whole experience and listen to the whole album and let it flow. But if I'm just like trying to have some fun, listen to some right. funk, whether it's Jamiroquai or Earth, Wind & Fire, then it's just the tracks, you know? Right. Yeah. Totally off topic. Well, uh, you know. What the heck? Hey, you know? we're all here probably we, because of music. This is our show. We can do what we want. <laughs> right, right. You know. Um, so, uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, you may have noticed when I was uh, disassembling that, I kind of went about it backwards. <laughs> It, uh, Cause you've never done a fog machine. No, before, I've never right? done a lights. fog machine, and I just thought, eh, whatever, I'll just do it on camera and let people laugh at, you know. Uh, I'm sure our service techs are having a good laugh right now because it yes. took me about three times longer than it needed to, <laughs> to uh, pull the module six out. Six hours. Yeah, six hours. And uh, yeah, oh, to answer uh, Mr. Graves' question, uh, the the fogger does come with that reservoir, and that's yep. how I went without a bathroom break. Just saying. Oh, wow. Well, yeah. TMI. <laughs> So, uh, so yeah, uh, so basically just to kind of recap things, you know, a fog machine consists of some, you know, several basic components. It's the tank, you know, the tube from the reservoir, you know, the pump. And again, these pumps are designed to go for hours and keep a precision amount of output. You know, they don't want, you don't want to pump too much juice in or not enough juice in. Mm -hmm. So the, these are really high quality pumps with uh, very tight tensions on, on the quality. And then, uh, yeah, it takes it, goes into this heater. And this heater is really the magic of this machine because it stays at a constant temperature, giving us that continuous output. Because usually, like a lot of uh, heat exchanger style things, you know, the, the cool liquid will go in and gets heated up, but then eventually it brings the temperature of the core down. Then you got it, the thermostat will shut off the pump. It's got to reheat, go back up. And uh, so this guy uh, just, you know, stays at a constant temperature and it's closely monitored uh, by, the, by the brain card. And uh, then once it comes out of the heater, vapor hits the cool air, boom, you got fog. But in this case it gets blown by the squirrel fan into the ice chamber, through the bottom of the ice chamber, and, and out. So, I mean, um, again, there's not a ton going on in a fogger, but there is still a ton that can go wrong with <laughs> low quality components, as a lot of us have learned through right. our lives of gigging, you know? Well, plus ADJ, you know, say from 10 years ago, the technology in our foggers is so much oh, better. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's amazing. I how mean, far we've come. as the company's grown, we've been able to hire just some of the best brains in entertainment. <laughs> you know, atmospherics, of course, lighting and video, and so yeah. I mean, the products. Uh, we've both been here a long time, and it just they grow with the market needs, yeah. and they get better and better all the time. So, so I don't know. Maybe it's time we uh, do a demo. We demo, and we also need to talk about some best practices, right? Yeah, absolutely. What, what do you want to do first? Let's do the demo. We okay. can kind of talk about it there. So just so you guys know, um, it's kind of, and it's again, it's kind of a first time for me. I know a lot of you have done this already. Uh, a lot of the guys here in the showroom, like, you know, Jake, uh, we've all, they've all tried dry ice versus regular ice. I have not. I'm kind of excited to see you know, the difference because, you know, dry ice is a little more expensive and sometimes harder to get. As a matter of fact, Jake was awesome enough to go this morning <laughs> and get us some dry ice. Yeah. Um, so, so anyway, we're going to go uh, try it out again with standard ice. We have two machines set up over here. So let's, let's take a walk over here. All right. So uh, this is the one with the regular, regular ice. ice. So uh, we're going to go ahead and I'll, I'm going to put the uh, continuous button. By the way, 
I should have covered this over there. We have a remote. It has your duration and interval if you just want to set uh, bursts, but it does have a continuous button, so we will uh, use that for right now. So again, this is just your regular bag of convenience store party ice. Mm -hmm. So it's sticking to the ground really, really well. Let me, uh, I'm going to grab a, a light. I'll be right back. Oh, thanks, Jake. More on this in a moment. Well, it's really sticking to the ground over here really well. It's all coming back here too. Yeah. So, so I'll, maybe I'll turn it turn a little that bit. Way a little bit. Just to And boy, this thing's quiet. I remember my very first fog machine more than 25 years ago. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm kind of old. You you hit it and is you know, yeah. it just sounded like you turned on an outboard motor or something, you right. know. Now they're just so silent. You can just see a really nice, even uh, patch of low fog here. One thing you need to remember, if I'll go ahead and talk about it now, yeah. is you got to make sure the hopper is tight. Right. Otherwise, yeah. you're going to start getting some of it out, up coming up, and yeah. you, want it, you want it all to go out the bottom. You want it focused. Yeah. I've uh, run into that myself with the Mr. Cool. Didn't tighten yeah. the top up enough, and it's kind of coming out of the sides. But wow, I mean, look at this cloud. This is really great. This is really cool. So let's see here. I'm going to turn that off. So yeah, a couple of like good practices. It's nice and dry here. You know, you still want to be uh, cautious when you're dealing with a slick, uh, a smooth surface. You know, just be uh, aware there may be some condensation. So mm -hmm. a lot of guys will bring like a, a Swiffer mop just in case if it's a really, you know, a slick dance floor or they'll bring, uh, or you can just bring like a, a towel. Uh, one, one thing I like to do too, and I have a Elements uh, ST hex par mm -hmm. here. These battery pars are great because some of the times the venue will have steps or it'll have a dance floor with an edge on the outside. And it's good to just place one of these, you know, in line of a step. Here, I'll turn some more fog on. Uh, this is just, you know, for safety reasons. And it also kind of helps frame out, say, the dance floor or if you have a staircase. But you want to, you know, when you have low fog, you want people to be aware if there's any changes in the level. And, mm -hmm. and it also can provide some cool effects and colors, yeah. you know. So I'll do that on a stair or, you know, sometimes if there's, you know, you, you need to have like a, you know, an uplight and it's on a step, you can just do that. But it's good to kind of mark the boundaries when dealing with low fog to avoid any accidents. Yeah. So, so now I'm on the <laughs> dance floor, you know, you don't want to trip on the edge, but that's, I'm already usually the guy at the wedding that's, you know, if I'm exiting the dance floor, which is very rare, <laughs> but whoa, I'll trip off the edge. So, <laughs> so this, this will, this will help with that a little bit. So let's go ahead and turn that guy off. I mean, again, I'm just really impressed with the, uh, fit and finish of this product. One thing we should mention too, in the video I touched on the LEDs on the tank, you know. Um, Do we want to turn it around? I don't know. Are, are we able to see it if we turn it around? Yeah, let's give it a shot. So also you can see the reservoir here. Of course we didn't do much today, so it's not, it's still empty. But on the back here, you can see the tank is green, meaning it's good to go. Heater's ready. Yep. Red, it's heating, right? Yep, and then flashing red is empty. So we'll go ahead and turn this guy back around. And uh, so let's go over here. I'll come over on this side here. Yeah. <laughs> Talk about chill. Now this one. Yeah, look at you, that. <laughs> you can see is uh, the one with dry ice. Yeah, it's got a little, con it's got some ice on the front. I mean, it's definitely important to mention be very careful with dry ice. You can burn yourself on it. So always wear gloves. Always wear heavy duty gloves when, yeah. it, when handling it. And make sure that if you are using dry ice, your machine is in an area that, uh, you know, kids aren't going to get too close to or any of that. Just be, be cautious because dry ice, you know, it's a great effect, but you know, you got to be cautious when handling it. So without further ado, let's turn on the dry ice one. I can already tell that it's really sticking to the floor. 
and it seems like a little bit more output. So yeah. Yeah, because you're getting a little bit thicker. You're getting the, the fog the from the from the ice and it's really cooling it down as well. I mean, yeah, that is nice and thick. One thing I really like about it too is some low flow foggers still put, you know, it's it's almost two feet of fog. This really hugs the floor mm -hmm. and gives you that unique look, which would you know would also be awesome in like, you know, if you have a kind of a graveyard set up at your haunted house or whatever, or even like, you know, it's not always Halloween. I mean, I'm sure there's plenty of church pageants and things mm -hmm. that could use this effect as well, along of course with theater effects, um, you know. So, wow. It's great because it's just so small. Yeah. You know, the other ones are big. Remember, I don't know if you remember back in the day, like 30, 20, 30 years ago, you'd have to put a fog machine and then the whole air conditioning unit. And the air conditioning oh, yeah. was huge. Yeah. And, and it they was a couple a thousand dollars just for the AC unit. Yeah. So what you were really doing was running it through an air conditioner. Yeah. You had to bring a two, you'd have to have a 220 volt yeah. uh, receptacle. You'd have to have basically a forklift to move the thing. But then on top of that, the problem with those is they would frost over after a oh, while yeah. and then you wouldn't get any fog out of them at all. So, so perfect for small applications. You know, I would also even consider uh, if you're going to do a dancing on the cloud effect, maybe have two. And yeah. it's still cheaper than yeah. the larger oh, units and, yeah. and much easier to operate. Right. Yeah, no. Uh, uh, great for home use. You know, anybody yeah. can use it. And the size, again, you can fit it in a set piece. You can fit it under a drum riser. Yeah. You know, it's... <laughs> I think you should lay down and do a, a, a smoke Smart. angel. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so... Well, you want to talk about some more best practices? Well, I mean, got to keep, you always got to have this bad boy on. Yeah, absolutely. And why do you need this? So when the, so when the ice melts, it's, you know, you're going to ha obviously have some water, need somewhere to go. And, you know, in a lot of cases, you're indoors, most cases you're indoors. And so this is a reservoir to keep everything clean. The last thing you want near all your equipment is a big puddle of water. You know, so this, this makes it really nice. You can either remove the tube from the fogger or pull it out of the uh, bag, close it, take it outside. You could always just run the tube into a pot, potted plant <laughs> if yeah. you want to. But, uh, but yeah, it's all about keeping it, you know, clean and safe because we're dealing with electricity and water here. All right. So I've had a couple of people ask me when we initially launched this, what happens when you run out of ice or... Oh or dry ice. It becomes a fog machine. Oh, sense, right? <laughs> a regular old fog machine. See, people machine. didn't know if it just shut down or whatever. No, yeah, I mean, it'll keep going as long as it has juice. Um, but, you know, this version, say, versus the Mr. Cool, it's an insulated ice box. So it should last a lot longer. Than just a metal box. Yeah, right? than, than the metal so one. So then when you run out of juice, what happens? Uh, when you run out of juice, uh, well, then it stops and the, the light it protects uh, the pump, yeah, right? protects the pump. Yeah. Cause the last thing you want is a dry pump happening, yeah. you know? So. so, so yeah. So anyhow, All right. really cool. Let's head on back here. Should we go see if there's any questions? Yeah. Yeah. Let's check it out. And who else we got here? Um, Jason Derma, Dermers, welcome. Oh, how much? Uh, U.S. dollars, 400, 400 U.S. dollars. Mm -hmm. um, who else? Lars hey. from Sweden. What's up, Lars? What's up, Lars? Todd Small in the house. Yeah. Aaron Justice Simpson, best lighting for, li for lighting this. Well, just about any light, really. It depends on what you're going for. I mean, it, you More know, wash lighting, right? To, so you can hit the oh, yeah. fog, you, probably. Yeah. I mean, anything with a nice wide beam angle. Um, if you get it down uh, nice and low, too, you'll get a really cool effect when you're shooting it from the side. William Johnson, dry pumps are the worst. True statement. Yeah. Mauro Luna. What's up, Mauro? Hey, hey. What is the average coverage area? You know, that's a good question. You know, we'd have to... It really depends on a couple factors. You know, if you have a uh, ventilation system going. Which ours is off. Ours is We're off. We're sweating. Yes, it is a little warm because no matter what, it is fog. Whether it's, it's nature's fog outdoor or it's 
you know, man-made fog indoors. It's going to go where the breeze takes it. So if you're in a perfectly still room, there's no reason we couldn't fill up this massive showroom with just one with a nice still air. And it just takes time. Yeah. It just takes time to, yep. and when it takes an hour, you can fill the whole room. Easily. Yeah. I mean, I think we could have easily filled this room in yeah. 10 minutes, yeah. you know. So what do you guys like? You guys like the dry ice or the regular ice? Yeah, let us know. Yeah, tell us what you think. So, well, uh, let's see. What else do we got going on? Gonna, I don't see any are other we gonna questions. Do, are we going to do, uh, you got anything for the people out here? I mean, you are the marketing guy. Yeah, you know, I wanted to do a giveaway. A I Porsche, wanted, right? Yes. Oh. Yours. Oh, well, <laughs> it's parked right here. <laughs> Just big nothing. No, I uh, wanted to give away a couple of these ADJ scarves. Cool. Perfect uh, Perfect for this Yeah, type it kind of looks like you have an ascot, yeah, like you're you know, a professor, but then boom, I'm yeah. also safe. Right, exactly. So I want to give two of these away. And uh, the first person that can tell us what year we started uh, the Under the Hood will send one to. Cool. And the second one, how many under the hood videos have we done? Not, <laughs> not counting this one. Yeah. How many are up there now? Yeah. And keyword YouTube. Ah, yeah. All right. Well, we'll keep all your I couldn't even answer that. So I just know that we'll I. We'll look in the, in the comments here after the show and I will contact the winners. Yeah. I know when we started this, I couldn't even grow a beard. Yeah. Now I went, can't Ugh. not grow a beard. Yeah. I just. Well, you know, tell us a little bit about the grooming products. Do you like to have special <laughs> shampoo for the beard or? Yeah, yeah, beard well, comb, beard yeah, I think, I think I mentioned it on another one once. Okay. Urban Savage, I believe, okay. from Austin, Texas. Handmade beard right. products, very nice. That's right. You know, nice uh, little plug there. Yeah. <laughs> All you beardies beard out there. Beard talk with there you Chuck. Go. Uh, <laughs> so, so uh, cool. Well, I think that that wraps it up. I really appreciate you coming out because, you know, a lot of times it's just me standing here and I can be pretty boring on my own. <laughs> oh, so, no way. So I, I, Not uh, at all. I, I and I also, again, you know, these under the hood videos were Brian's brainchild and he came to me and, you know, here we are. It's been yeah. fun. Don't so, say how many years. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So uh, anyhow, I do have one thing. Oh, what's that? Um, part of the deal for me coming on was you getting a pizza. Oh, so pizza. is it okay if we get that ordered now? All right, all right. So Candace, can you order the pizza pine now? Pineapple, right, and pepper. Sh whatever. Oh, yeah. okay. Any oh, oh, you okay. Need, oh, okay. <laughs> you need the under the hood company card. So, <laughs> so anyhow, for more information on the Ontour Chill or any of our foggers or lighting products for that matter, uh, be sure to visit www.adj.com. We have, uh, and then our Facebook groups. Yep. Uh, Instagram. Um, Twitter. Twitter, MySpace. Yes. Uh, I don't know. Face page. Face, the face page. Yeah. Uh, so. Uh, talk about the. Oh, yeah. So one last thing, you know, we're all feeling the effects of the pandemic and we all wish we were out gigging. Um, so September 1st, we want everybody to light up the buildings red. You know, everyone light up your buildings red. Use your, your lights. Maybe they could hashtag us as well. But the hash. have done it a lot in Europe. Yeah. But. Let's do it in the U.S. Let's September show 1st. people that our industry is ready, you know, and ADJ will be ready here for you when you get back out there. That's right. So hashtag we make events. It's not just us. It's an industry wide uh, movement. September 1st, light up your buildings red. Um, again, I'm Chuck Green. That's Brian Dowdle. Thank you for joining us. Thanks. Be safe. We'll see you next time. Be safe.